Hello everybody, my name is Pedro Ramos, and I'll be getting you started on the bassoon. We'll be taking the instrument out of its case, assembling the bassoon, as well as identifying some of its parts, and last but not least, getting your first sound out of your instrument. Of course, we'll make sure to be cautious, as the bassoon can be rather expensive, and we want to make sure to be careful. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. So I'm assuming that this is what your case looks like, as it's pretty standard. Now to make sure that you're opening the case in the right position, you want to make sure that when you're opening this latch, that it goes downwards. And with these little two fellows in the side, all you want to do is just push this to the left, and then push this one to the right. Now, let's see what surprises are inside this case. It's a bassoon! I know this looks rather intimidating, but don't worry, you got this. Over here on the side compartment, I like to put my seat strap and my reeds. Now to get to the actual bassoon itself. This fella right here is the boot joint. It is the bottom of your instrument. I'm gonna gently put it on the floor here. And here is the middle of your instrument. First, we'll start off with the wing joint, also known as the small joint, and the long joint. Additionally, we also have the bell. The bell gets showcased a lot in videos. And last but not least, we have the vocal. Now, the bulk can get rather expensive, so you want to make sure that you take really good care when you're handling it. You definitely want to avoid grabbing the bulk from the end right here and grabbing it by this little curve. Now that we have parts of the bassoon on the floor, we are ready to assemble. We are going to start from the bottom up. But first, let's start with the seat strap. As you'll see with the seat strap, it has a metal mechanism attached to the end, and this metal mechanism is going to go on the right side of your body. With the rest of the strap, you're simply just going to sit on it. Now to the parts of the bassoon. Let's start with the boot joint. As you notice, the boot joint has two holes, a smaller one and a larger one. First. Let's put the boot joint on the floor, very gently, and we're going to grab the wing joint. Again, the wing joint has this little crevice. We're going to attach the wing joint to the small hole of the boot joint. Now, you want to make sure that when you're attaching the instrument together, that you're gently rotating it, and that you're not putting a lot of pressure on the keys. The wing joint should finish looking like this, with the little crevice facing the larger hole. Because that is where the long joint will be going. Now the long joint has a side that doesn't have any keys. That will be matching up with that crevice on the wing joint. Make sure to take your time. Slow and steady. As you may notice, on the top of your wing joint, there's this little hole that will line up with another mechanism on your long joint. Last but not least, we have the bell. Now the bell has this little button right here. You want to make sure that you're holding it down while you're attaching it to the top of your long joint. And this section of the bell is going to be lining up with this mechanism at the end of your long joint. Finally, we have the vocal. Again, make sure to grab the vocal by the curve. Now, at the end of the vocal, we have this little spongy material. It looks like a spongy material. And we're going to insert it into the hole on the top of the wing joint. 
Be gentle here. Remember, the vocal can get very expensive. Now that our instrument is assembled, we can attach it to the seat strap. Your bassoon should have two little holes at the end. All you're going to do is attach the metal mechanism on your seat strap to one of those holes. Now I look like I'm ready to play the bassoon. One quick comment with adjusting the seat strap. You want to make sure that when you're playing the bassoon, you're in a very comfortable position to play with the reed. Now, for example, right now, my vocal is a little high, so I do have to stretch my neck to actually play. In order to just make it lower, you're just going to gently push the seat strap to the right. Now it's a little too low. All we have to do is go the opposite way. Pull the end of the seat strap to your left. Now I'm in a comfortable position to play. Oh, I almost forgot. We're gonna put the reed on our instrument. Talking about reeds, this is your reed. Now, with the bassoon reed, we wanna make sure that it's nice and wet because if we play the reed really dry, it's really hard to make a sound. So what I use, I have this little shot glass right here. And all I do is gently wet the tip of the reed and then drop the reed from the other side inside the shot glass. From then, I'll wait about three minutes or so. You wanna make sure that you're not using really hot water or really cold water as that could damage your reed. So now that my reed is damp, it's ready to vibrate and be ready to be put in an embouchure. Now to set an embouchure, for our purposes right now, we're going to describe it as slurping in noodles or ramen. And it should look something like this. You don't want to be too tight, but you also don't want to be too relaxed. Of course, your teacher is going to go over more detail, but for our purposes right now, we're just trying to make a sound. Now with your embouchure set, you're going to put the reed inside your mouth. And you want to make sure that you don't go past the wires because you actually might end up cutting your lip. Just go a little bit before. Now that the reed is inside your mouth, blow. It sounds very funny, right? Don't worry. When it gets into the instrument, it's going to sound really beautiful. Let's try that again. This time, try seeing if you can match with my sound. If it's too tight, I'm sorry. If it's too high, you're probably a little too tight. Let's try again. This time, try to see if you can go for a buzzy sound. All right, now let's put the reed on the actual instrument. Now that we finally have the reed on our instrument, we're going to be going over simple hand positions. With the left hand, we're going to be focusing on this side of the bassoon. Although, we're just going to be focusing on one key, the whisper key. And that's this key right here. If you notice, it's moving that lever. Now with your left hand, your left thumb is going to go on there. And with your other three fingers, not using your pinky, you're going to be covering these two, two holes right here, and then this key on the bottom. Don't worry for this key, as this is just for trills. Try experimenting with holding these three keys down while holding down the whisper key. Now, we'll be looking at the right hand. You see that big key right there, the big circle one? That is called the pancake key, and your thumb will stay in that area. And with the same concept of the left hand, the boot joint will also have corresponding holes that your fingers will plug. I know how eager we are to finally play the first notes on our instrument. So let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to focus on complicated fingerings. We're just going to focus on getting a note. So for right now, just put your left hand and your right hand in the general vicinity where I told you to. Now, locate the whisper key. 
If you notice, the whisper key moves this mechanism right here. Now stop and hold it down. When you hold down the whisper key and you play a note on your instrument, it should sound like this. This is your concert F. Let me try it again. Let's try it together. I'm going to give you one, two, three, four. Da. One, two, three. Da. Now remember, if you want a picture of slurping on noodles or ramen, please do that if that helps you. You want to make sure that you're not too tight because you might go higher. An octave higher, in fact. You want to make sure that you relax, but you still have a steady embouchure. And then you'll be able to get this beautiful F. That is all for our time today. Thank you so much for watching and for letting me be a part of the first steps of your new journey. Oh.